This is not a new video, but it's also not an old video. I've been listening to this gentleman, you know, and he's given his honest opinion from what he feels and what he sees by his belief system. Okay, and he's being as honest as he can be. He's not lying to anybody. And he's talking about how bad it is in California. Okay, the problem I see is, like so many people, they're actually not awake to what's going on around them at all. The only thing they're awake to is the phony political arena. And they don't believe it's phony. They believe it's real. They believe that we have a choice. They believe this. They believe that. And that's they believe the lies, just like I did, just like everybody did. I mean, at one time, I was just like this guy myself. Okay? I can tell he's sincere, even though he's many and he's ranting. He's not really ranting that bad. I mean, you know, what he's telling you is actually the truth. He's not lying to anybody. He's not up here to do any harm to anybody. He's a good man overall. He's just teased like I used to be, like so many unaware of what's really going on around them and why what's happening is happening. You know, the stabilization of our country through George Soros, because that's what he specializes in. It's destabilizing, destabilizing nations to bring nations down. This is what he did overseas. It's what he's doing to America. It's what he's been paid to do is to bring America down. And then what you're seeing going on here, what he's talking about, is all, no accidents about it. It's deliberately done, and as long as people continue to go along with the lies and the programming, and actually believe that they have a choice, a right and a left, Republican, or Democrat, you know, as long as they believe these things, and they run with them, they're always going to be on the losing end. You know, he talked about the second, he wouldn't view his beliefs on the Second Amendment, this and that, and non-God. <laughs> <coughs> As he's picking his side for he, what he wants to be in the political arena, in his belief system. And I got nothing against him. His belief system has been created for him like all of our sins. By the very society we grow up in. What he's telling you is going on is absolutely true because greed is taken over and people don't have care anymore. The only care people have is for their selfish self. Success is based on stepping on people, walking on people, and doing harm on others. Entertainment is about doing harm on others. We actually have that as an entertainment now. Everything's a sport, a game, an arena, and a competition. Literally everything in society. Right down to the dating scene, okay? And no, nothing left out. But, you know, we're not even talking about dating here. What's, what's, what's going on in California, the stuff he's talking about, is going to be this whole country. You're not going to run from this. It's just like cancer. It's there right now, and it's going to spread. And it's going to spread. And it's already been spreading. You got California up there, everything he said about the prices of real estate, rental, food, everything that he talked about in this video is slowly already happening in other communities and other states. Colorado is right there at the top of that list. That's right, so is New York, so is Boston. Okay. You know, this is just if people ain't paying attention. Minneapolis, Minnesota itself. I mean, this disease is going on right there in California. It's worse than California right now. But see, if you open your eyes, you're going to realize that what's going on in California is also going on in Boston, is also going on in New York, is also going on in Miami. Okay, is also going on, see, it's all over the country, just like cancer. And even though they're in a worse state right now, it's the same state that all of us are going to be in. What he's talking about is going to go all the way across this country. There's no getting out of that because we sit back and let these people that are running us do whatever they want. You believe in the lie of the system. And as long as you believe in the lie, 
This is where you're headed, self-destruction. And when you want to deny what I'm saying, all you got to do is look around you. And when you turn your back to it and think that's normal behavior, and it's always been that way, you're seriously wrong. You're seriously messed up. It's not always been that way. It's never always been that way. It's always repeated itself by becoming this way just before we kill a bunch of us and collapse the society. Just before we go killing each other off like a bunch of maniacs, okay, this is the reason I say animals are smarter than humans. Because the only thing humans know how to do right now is be selfish, have no care about what's right or wrong, and run on their ego and run on all the corrupt things that's destroyed and tearing down your society. You think you're fighting back against NWO when you're not fighting back. You're actually complicit with NWO. And then you're complaining about the results of your being complicit with fucking the programming. <coughs> That's what's going on, if you want the truth. <coughs> Everything he said is true and happening right in your face. But it's happening not for the reasons he thinks. It's happening because... He's fallen for the lies like everybody else. And you're all just going along. You don't have no critical thinking skills to examine what's going on around you for real. You think you do, but you actually don't. And when you do see something that's really going on around you, you like to turn your head and say, no, I'd be worried. You'll think about what other people think if you could tell the truth. So then you'll censor yourself by shutting up. See, he was talking about that. Really, what he was doing was censoring himself. He was doing exactly what the government wants. Shutting up. Now, see, he's talking about moving. I understand why he would move. I'm not going to cut him on that. I would understand totally why he would move. But... Unfortunately, because he's asleep, he don't realize that we're not going to move away from this problem. This problem is going to consume the United States. Right until it crashes and people start dying. And you can call me nuts all you want, but I'm quite awake to what's going on in this society and I know why it's going on. And as long as you people stay complicit with it and don't want to, Start getting care back and doing practicing the right things and checking your own behaviors and start standing together instead of competition against each other. As long as your mentality stays that way, you all lose. Because while you're competing with each other, because this is what your globalists have done to you, they're busy using that to destroy you, to control you, to enslave you, and they will. And they will win and they will get by with it because you will do nothing about it. Because you're unable to care about what's right and wrong and you're unable to stand together. And that's actually what's destroying everybody. It's your selfishness. Now I'm not calling no certain names. I'm telling you what I see going on in this world. And everything he talked about, he's not wrong about. He's dead serious. He's right. I mean, he's right about what he's talking about, but at the same time, he's a sound asleep, and he's only talking about what he sees from his perspective because he's not awake to what's really going on around him. But he didn't lie to anybody in this video. Okay? It's just he's not awake. Okay, so he thinks moving is going to be the answer. That's a temporary solution. I mean it. Temporary. That he's going to be, what the hell, it's happening here too. And he won't be able to figure out why it's happening there too. Because I've spoke about all this stuff for years. And I've told people what's coming. People don't want to listen. I'm a nut job, I know. So then that means he would be a nut job telling you what's going on there when this is all the stuff I was called a nut for telling you is going to happen. And there it is happening. Oh, that's right. You don't want to acknowledge that part, right? See, that's the problem. Lose your eagles. Start caring about other people as much as you care about yourself. 
Stop thinking truth is a buffet line where you can pick out what you want to talk about and what you don't. Stop worrying about something, oh, that's too personal to talk about. So I'm going to censor myself. Yeah, I'm going to practice censorship with Google. And I'm going to censor my own self. You know, we even got somebody I'm going to be doing a video on and showing you, okay, that is doing absolutely no good for the manosphere. Absolutely no good. Okay, and anybody that follows this guy is going to go right down the rabbit hole. Anyhow, I'm not going to say the name right now. That's going to be for a separate video. But this one here, listen to this video. I'm going to put the link in the more. Listen to what this man is talking about. Remember, he's asleep to what's going on around him. But what he's talking about that's going on around him, he's telling you the truth. Listen hard to it. Start looking at other cities around the United States and you'll see that it's not just there. It's a cancer that slowly grows until it becomes confessionated like it has there. Yes, he's in the middle of a pit hall. Yes, that's how bad it is there. And yes, that's how bad it's going to be everywhere. It's going to eat up the United States till there ain't nothing left. Because George Soros and the elite are really good at what they do. And that's where this is coming. There's no accident about this. There's no accident at all. This is deliberate. All of this is. It's what happens when you allow a pack of criminals to run you. Anyhow, I guess I got no more to say because what can I say? Other than I've screened this stuff at you for years and now. Here's the results right in your face of what I've been telling people for so long. But people don't want to hear what I have to say. So there you are whining about what's going on and how bad it is. And you know, this guy here just don't see it. I mean, he sees what's going on, but he don't see why. He really don't understand why. Okay. And that's the point. That's the point. Whether it's the dating scene, whether it's NWO, what's going on in this world, we have to acknowledge it all. We cannot be turning our back to any of them, including the dating scene, because it's personal. We don't talk about that. No, it isn't. You don't censor yourself. See, he's showing you how to censor him. See, he censors his own self when he's talking about if he said his views. That's called censoring himself. And he don't even know he is. And it's seriously, he don't even realize that's what he's doing. It's tough. It's not easy. And by no means am I slamming this guy at all. I think he's honest. He's sincere. Just for watching him, man. He's honest. He's sincere. Okay. No, he's doing nothing wrong with this man. Outside of the fact he's asleep. He's just like I used to be. He's just like all of us used to be. Because we all grew up in the same BS. And it was none of anybody's fault that you grew up in this BS. But once you realize what's going on, it becomes your fault if you don't want to take responsibility to change it. You can't say you can't change it without just being simply denying taking the responsibility. And with that being said, I'm going to get on out of here. and That'll be that, huh?